But uh, for those of you looking for an affordable way to get into the high-end realm of audio, this is a true high-end piece, but it's for mid-tier money. And that's not something you see every day. All right, are you guys ready? Today, I want to talk about a beautiful integrated amp from Audio Group of Denmark. Now, Audio Group of Denmark is known for producing some of the most exotic, high-end, hi-fi that is out there. Borenson speakers. Uh, I remember a bookshelf set of Borensons. They had their top-end bookshelf. 100 grand for the pair. Um, they have an integrated amp that I believe is seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000. This is exotic stuff. Now, Audio Group of Denmark has several lines of products. The Avic line is basically a no compromise uh, collection of amps, integrated amps, DACs, and streamers. Uh, the Borenson line is full of beautiful, beautiful modern looking and sounding speakers. Um, and they have a couple other lines of power products. And their new line is what I want to talk about today. Now, this is coming from Audio Group of Denmark. Within hi-fi, you have low-end, you have mid-end, you have high-end, you have exotic, right? I consider Avic Audio Group of Denmark's products up until this access, I consider them to be in the exotic to high-end area. There's certainly more expensive, but this is pretty exotic stuff. And when they announced the access line, meaning it's accessible to almost anyone in this hobby, they really hit it out of the park with the Forte series of amps. Now, I'll spare you the long story, I'll make it short, but Audio Group of Denmark, a few months ago, back in 2023, asked if I would like to review something. Uh, after much research, I found their access line, the new affordable line from Audio Group of Denmark, and they have the Forte 1, Forte 2, Forte 3 integrated amps. The Forte 1 is $5,500. The Forte 3 is $11,000. And the only difference, there's only a couple of small differences between these three amps. Uh, the amplification is the same. The DAC is the same. The streamer is the same. The construction, the body, the, the casing is the same. The remote is the same. The only difference is what's inside in the form of noise control, noise canceling, uh, basically so there's zero noise coming from your system. And they use technology from their AVIC line, Audio Group of Denmark does, in the access line in the form of Tesla coils. Now, I've never seen any manufacturer use Tesla coils uh, within an amplifier, so I love that they're thinking outside the box. The I'll put a little graphic up on the screen here that shows you the difference in the amount of Tesla coils between the Forte 1, Forte 2, Forte 3. Um, I, I wanted to review the Forte 1 because it was the most affordable entry into the Access line. I also was very curious to see how it would compare to the older Avic U150, which I declared last year as probably the best integrated amp overall that I've ever owned or heard. When it comes to sound, when it comes to build, when it comes to reliability, that was an amazing piece. But the retail when that U150 was new was 20K. Avic had the U300, which was their flagship all-in-one kind of deal with a phono stage DAC and the 300 watt per channel amp. That was uh, $30,000 new. I never heard the U300, but the U150 became my favorite integrated of all time because it just had everything in it and it sounded so beautiful. Now, fast forward to uh, the Access Forte 1. Uh, I wrote Audio Group of Denmark back. I never heard back, so I ended up just buying one. I called up Next Level Hi-Fi in Wayne, Illinois, and they said they don't discount those because they're already priced at the rock bottom price that they can sell them at. And I believe it, but I ended up buying the Forte 1 out of curiosity for myself. Does it best or equal the U150 that I love so much? How does it how close does it get to my Daniel Hertz Maria 350? It was a curiosity thing for me, and I figured it would be great to not only um, figure all this out on my own, but share it with you guys. So what happened? Well, I get the Access Forte 1, and it came in like a day or two after I ordered it, and I plugged it in. I put it in the place where my Daniel Hertz Maria was, which has been my reference amp for, I don't know, the last six months maybe. Uh, I don't know the way time flies. 
and I was expecting really great things. My expectations were very high. So when I started to seriously listen to the Forte one, it immediately struck me, it immediately struck me that this comes from the higher end Evic Lines family. Now, all of the tech inside of the Forte one is really trickle down from the Avic line. You have the 100 watt per channel class D amp. You have a custom made one bit DAC made in house by audio group of Denmark. You have a streamer built in. There's actually a streamer built in. It has title connect and Spotify connect. You can use those services with it. You can also use Rune eventually. As of this video, it's not Rune certified, but Rune has been taking a long time to certify products these days. It took them forever to certify the Hi-Fi Rose RS-130, but they did it. So once this gets certified, you'll be able to use it with Rune as well. Now there is an app released with this product, the Forte series of amps from Audio Group of Denmark. This is the one con I found uh, for me. Um, the app is only workable on an iPad. If you're using an iPhone or another phone, it won't work. In that case, you have to use M Connect. Now the M Connect app is not my favorite app. I've used it before. I'm not a fan of it. So this review will be specifically on the Forte One Access using it with Tidal Connect. And I have to say using it with Tidal Connect direct to the streamer sounds incredible. As a matter of fact, it sounds a little better than using the Hi-Fi Rose RS-130's app and streaming title because the Hi-Fi Rose doesn't even have Title Connect. So um, using Title Connect and playing some MQA or high-res files sounded outrageously good. It took me back to the time when I had that U150 amp in here, that 20K integrated amp. There was a lot of similarities, but it was a more modern sound, right? Um, a little more detail, uh, greater imaging. Um, the sound stage is really wide and tall. It's nothing out of this world, but it provides a nice 3D experience with the right music and the right speakers attached. This is a beautiful amp to look at. It has an industrial design, a big metal volume knob that's smooth as silk, the big uh, display, which is kind of uh, what Avic is known for. They're big displays. I can see it from right across the room. You could turn off the display if you're listening in the dark, if you like. Remote control is basic, but really, really nice. So much better than those old remotes that Avic used to include with the U150, the U300. They used to sell those crazy expensive amps and give you this Apple looking remote that was really tinny and cheap. I'm happy to say that they provide a real remote with the Forte series of amps. Everything is made in house in Denmark. This doesn't use off the shelf chips from China or anywhere else. And I gotta say the DAC inside of here that was created for this amp is spectacular. Um, it's really, really, really good. Um, excels in that three dimensional imaging that so many of us love in this hobby. It excels at pulling out all the details while having some of that punch in the mid band and the bass down below. Everything that anyone would want in hi-fi is here, even preamp outputs. You can use this as a preamp or you can use those outputs to hook up dual or single powered subwoofers. How cool is that? As far as the back, uh, the input selection, you have all your digital inputs, your optical, BNC, you have USB uh, going in, which to me sounded the best. You also have um, an analog in. So for example, if you wanna plug in a turntable, you can do that using the single analog in. But this is a modern day high end amp, make no mistake about it, but it doesn't have that over 10K high end price tag. So another cool thing about the Forte One is it includes a Class A headphone amp. Now I have a couple headphones here. These are absolutely gorgeous headphones. The Forte One headphone amp sounded way better to me with these headphones. It provided a warm, rich, full, fluid experience. And these are well under a grand for these headphones. I'll put a link for more info in the description. These are just absolutely lovely and they sound beautiful with the Forte One. Trickle down is good because it means people like me, like you, can get something that's special for a lot less money. And that's what Audio Group of Denmark is trying to do here. They're trying to bring more people into the brand. They want more and more people to experience their sound, their vibe, and their jive 
And I think that's going to be happening for them because as I said, this is a steal of a deal of an integrated amp. So what does this thing sound like? How does it compare to my Daniel Hertz 350? How does it compare to some other amps I've heard? How does it compare to the Avic U150 that I rave so much about? Well, the good news is, as far as in style and operation and stability, it's rock solid. The sound quality is something I would say is more modern versus the U150 and even the Daniel Hertz Maria. There's more details coming out. There's uh, more, I don't want to say analytical because it's not analytical, but it has that nature of wanting to be clean, crisp, and clear. But at the same time, there's punch and body to it, as I said. Now, compared to the Maria S350 that is tuned for my Amber speakers, um, the Maria has much more bass output in the mids and the bottom end. It's a bigger, fuller sound. In comparison, the Forte 1 has a little more detail up top. It's a little thinner in the mid band and the bass is tightly controlled with among the best integrated amps I've heard. The bass is tight, controlled, precise. You can hear the cleanliness of each bass line. Um, but the Daniel Hertz Maria offers a more, a little warmer, a more organic experience, but that's its specialty. It sounds like analog, and that's what Mark Levinson created. It's also more, more than double the cost of the access. When listening to both, I didn't proclaim in my head one being better than the other. They're just different, right? The Axis Forte 1 is just as high-end sounding as the Maria S350, right? It's just a different kind of sound, a different kind of vibe. Compared to the older U150, the Forte 1 is a little crispier, a little cleaner, a little more precise. This amp tells the truth, but it also does it without losing the soul of the music. A lot of times, analytical amps, you turn them on and they sound so threadbare and thin and bleached. Uh, I used to hear that a lot in the 90s. A lot of amps were like that, trying to pull out the most amount of detail, but they sucked out the soul of the music. The Axis Forte 1 retains that soul of the music. It allows that emotional connection. It allows you to be drawn in. When I hooked up the Forte 1 to the Closer Acoustics Augie and Bass Open Baffle units, the Bob units, whew, that was heavenly. When I hooked up the Ambers to the Bass Open uh, Baffle units, that was where it was at. That was like a concert in the room. Those Ambers from Daniel Hertz with the Closer Acoustics bass open baffle units sounds absolutely insanely good, uh, better than a powered sub would do. Um, these little bobs are remarkable. The sound was powerful, impactful, um, huge, rocking, and, and just no flaws whatsoever in the sound. Um, this was using Tidal Connect. I switched over to Spotify Connect because I have a huge Spotify library and I love the way Spotify sounds. It's a little juicier than, say, Tidal, a little fatter. Um, and listening to Spotify sounded great. I did notice the volume decreased a bit with Spotify Connect. Um, all in all, though, the streamer inside of the Forte 1 sounds absolutely marvelous with Tidal Connect. Uh, eventually, I'll try Rune with it and uh, when, that gets, when it gets Rune certified. And I think that'll be even better. So overall, at the end of the day, the Tesla coils, the technology inside, the power supply, the DAC, the custom DAC, the amplification, everything about this amp is quality. It's something that I would think I would see for 10K uh, or 11 or 12K. And you can pay that much in the Forte 3 if you want all those Tesla coils and the extra performance it brings. But uh, for those of you looking for an affordable way to get into the high-end realm of audio. This is a true high-end piece, but it's for mid-tier money. And that's not something you see every day. So um, there's a lot more to say about this. And I do have a written review over at my website. If you wanna check out even more of what I thought about this amp, I go more in depth about comparisons uh, and all of that. And uh, you can see that at my website. Now I'll put a link in the description below. Also, um, Audio Group of Denmark is supposed to be sending me a pair of their newest speakers uh, to try with this amp. Should be sometime in the next couple of weeks that they arrive. So I'm looking forward to that because that pair, that combination should be 
primo perfect because they're kind of designed to go together. So big thumbs up for the Access Forte 1. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Uh, I can't imagine anyone being unhappy with it unless um, you're wanting big, big bass output. This has great bass output, but it falls a little short of my Daniel Hertz Maria and even the Avic U150 that came out before, which was way more money. Uh, other than that, it's a beautiful amp, very holographic, soundstage, precise imaging, punchy, crisp and clear. Uh, it's a truth teller with out sucking the soul of the music. There's still soul to that music. There's still that emotional connection that can be had and that's what it's all about. So be sure to take a look at these amps if you're in the market for an integrated. There's nothing else I could recommend at this price point above this piece. I bought mine from Next Level Hi-Fi in Wayne, Illinois. Uh, they have a website you can go to and you can buy direct off their website. Now, I didn't get paid to do this review. Uh, I didn't earn any money. I paid for this amp. I bought it from them. It was delivered to me. And this is my review for that amp. These are my thoughts. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to check out the written review for more. And I will see you guys in the next one.